What is up, YouTube? This is Sparty's BFF, and I'm here bringing you a video about this silly running in software rendered mode error uh, that I keep getting a lot. So let's dive into it, because that's probably what you came here to figure out how to fix, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. First things first, please click this show dialogue at startup. Absolutely not. I don't ever want to see that again. Go away. All right, next thing. Let's go to our terminal. All right, and here's what you're going to type. You're going to type sudo apt get remove virtual, and I think if I hit tab, yes, hit tab, virtual guest dash, and we want utils. There we go. sudo password. And bang, remove that crap from my machine. So here's what I figured out. From my research, it appears that um, Ubuntu and Mint by extension come with um, the virtual box. Here it is right over here. Virtual box guest editions already pre-installed. Well, that's super cool because that's what makes it so it can fluidly know how big the screen is, allow the you know bi-directional clipboard and all the crap. But the problem is it's not right. The uh, pre-packaged uh, guest editions don't work properly and that's why you get this running in software rendered mode. So now it's finished and now we are going to type reboot and we're gonna reboot the machine to finish off this uh, removal. There we go. So now the machine is gonna reboot. I will pause here for reboot and come back here in a minute. All right, the machine has rebooted now. So now it is time to install the VirtualBox guest editions correctly so that we can get rid of this junk. So the first thing we're gonna do, go up here to devices, go to insert guest edition CD. That's what we wanna do. Little CD is gonna pop up right there. There it is. And it tells you, do you wanna run this thing? And I'm gonna put no, don't wanna do that because I wanna do it my way. Next thing, I'm gonna show you an extra bonus trick. Open up files. And from inside here, we're gonna to go to settings, which is under the properties. Let's go to properties. Yeah, no, this is not what we want. We don't want properties. We wanna view, edit, and preferences. There it is, edit preferences. I don't do it very often, so I always forget where it is. We're gonna go all the way over here to toolbar on the end, and we're gonna turn, I turn all of these on. Show computer, show home button, show open in terminal button, that's the one we want, and show new folder. Now when we close this, we're gonna get a bunch of spiffy little icons right here we didn't have before. We're gonna click on the virtual box additions, and then lickety split here, we're gonna hit the open in location and lo and behold, we have now opened our terminal inside of this uh, spot and I didn't even have to really try that hard. Also, before I go any further because I just absolutely can't stand it, we're gonna go to profile preferences, we're gonna go to colors and we're going to turn off use colors from the system. Oh yeah, green and black, instant hacker. Okay, so ls here we want to run sudo dot slash vb virtual box linux additions dot run let's run that put in the password and yes we run we wish to run it All right, so now it is installing. So now we're installing the virtual guest editions properly. Um, and we'll let it keep going here. It actually, notice it says here, I find this very fascinating. It says building guest edition kernel mode. I mean, this these guest editions go all the way down into the kernel of the operating system um, and are down at the very root level. So it's gonna take it just a second while it changes those things. And when this finishes here in a second, we will reboot. I guess while we're letting it do that, I will 
again, a little bonus feature here. If we go in here and we type themes and then we, where'd you go themes? There we go. Uh, I like to go in here and change these to dark, mint, I'm gonna make it red. I'm gonna make this dark. I'm gonna make my mouse black. And then I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna tell it every time it possibly can make the screen dark. There we go. All right, and now it has finished and now I'm gonna reboot again. And again, I will pause and we'll come back after this reboot has finished. All right, we've rebooted and we're gonna log in. Oh, well, I'm typing to nowhere. And look, it is gone. No more rendering problems. So we're gonna get rid of this guy, devices. And we're going to remove it. Where's remove it? Optical drive. Remove disk, there we go. All right, so um, we've gotten rid of that now. In the next video, um, I'll probably go ahead and just update uh, Mint and we might do a couple other things just to kind of tweak it out a little bit. Probably install Docky. I like that a lot. Kind of gives a um, window, I mean a Macintosh um, kind of dock feel. We'll do that and then we'll see where we go for there. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, etc., etc. Have a great evening.